somewhat tractionless day, as you just heard then. But I'm on my way to see a very good friend of mine, Alex, who owns his own paint and body repair shop to get a few bits done to the Jaguar. Now, when I got the XKRS, it came in really nice condition and I was chuffed with it. But being as picky as I am, I've got to get it up to the standard that a model as special as this should be. I do enjoy taking it to car shows. Um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, um, so we're going to go and get a few bits sorted out and hopefully along the way um, give you guys a few ideas about what sort of things you can do to your car to get it up to scratch, to get it to where you want to be um, and actually give you some uh, hints and tips on styling. Now to kick us off, one thing that I'm going to have a look at and my first tip for you guys when styling your cars is wheels. So potentially not even changing anything here but getting them sorted. Wheels speak volumes about how an owner looks after their car and they're the first thing that stand out and give that first impression to a potential buyer or someone having a look and admiring your car at a car show. All too often if I see really nice cars and we're talking McLaren for some reason seem to be a common offender for Porsches, Lamborghinis whose wheels really let the car down. So we're talking things like curbing um, and even worse resprays that aren't very good so you've got them refurbished but you've got it done by your, your best friends aunties dogs groomers dentists who uh, does resprays as a hobby around the back of a garage that he's doing work experience at um, on a Sunday morning and you might want to go down the route of getting a color change if you go to a good paint shop like Alex's they will be able to actually advise you on changing the color of the wheels so a really common one is putting them to black um, getting rid of any chrome that might be on there from factory um, but really you can be creative as you like so I really like metallic sparkle within my wheels because when the sun hits it um, you get that real nice sparkle effect and uh, with a gloss lacquer which I'm going to ask Alex to do as well um, it really brings the car out. The next styling improvement that I'll recommend is the least exciting but also the least expensive of basically anything that you can do but it makes a big difference and it's number plates. If you keep an eye out you will see a lot of cars let down by uh, cracked, chipped, faded or peeling number plates um, that again, similar to the wheels, bring the whole kind of feeling of the condition of the car down. You're talking kind of 30, 35 pound and it's an old salesperson's tricks. Um, second hand cars they will replace the number plates because it's very very inexpensive but again even subconsciously to a buyer just kind of gives those cues that the car's been well looked after now next up and sticking with the wheels is the brake calipers you're thinking well surely the brake calipers are kind of hidden within the wheels they're not going to be the first thing on my list as a priority brake calipers really do stand out and again add to that overall look and feel of a car because they're not the first thing you'd think about getting done on a limited budget so to people with that eye for detail um, and perfectionism they really do stand out so what often happens over time is the um, paint from the factory fades this is sped up and this is really important this is sped up by acidic um, wheel cleaning products So what I'm going to do is ask Alex to strip the calipers down because you're going to need to get rid of any corrosion um, and the old paint and then paint them again in a red and re-put the Jaguar stickers that were on there from factory but have unfortunately um, faded or fallen off with the last owners. Right then folks, I am a few moments away from pulling into Alex's workshop. I'm very excited. I've known Alex for a few years now. Um, we both share a love for uh, cars. Um, and I really trust him and the guys that work for him with my car. And that would 
bring me on to my final point really, um, which would be find a garage that you trust, somewhere that's gonna talk you through your options, is not just gonna try and kind of charge you as much as they can, but will actually give you recommendations and ideas that you might not have thought of based on their experience. You pull up at some garages and you can just tell they're not that interested in the cars, they've not got that passion um, and that experience in the styling. So find somewhere that you are comfortable with leaving your car and, and actually taking a few ideas from because um, there might be a few things that you haven't thought of but they've had a similar make or model in of your car um, and they know the components, body kits, um, bumpers, uh, carbon fibre extensions, canards, um, rear diffusers, all that sort of thing that they know uh, and they've got supplier for um, that can uh, make a huge difference to, the, to that kind of creative process. So let's get it in the workshop and I will hand you over to Alex and his team. coat all onto the car so we'll have a little look at this so nothing else has been done with this so no polishing it's still got to be unmasked um, and everything polished up as well but we'll give you a little view before we do anything so this is the painted and lacquered finish before any polishing right we'll have a little look <laughs> drastic so the first thing we've done is repaired and painted the roof um, this is only some minor minor damage but uh, we've repaired and painted it we've blended down the a pillars and um, just down onto the tops of the rear quarter panels 
just so everything blends in so you can't see anything's been done. We've also then removed a centre console trim. Uh, this is a black like gloss uh, panel, just had some minor scratches. So we've, in the end, we were, we were going to paint this, but we ended up being able to flat and polish the scratches out. So it's kept it fully original, didn't need any paint, so that's good. We've also then done the alloy wheels. They've been fully stripped um, and then they've been repaired, powder primed, painted and lacquered. Um, we've gone with the same grey, but we've gone with a gloss lacquer instead of the uh, sort of satin matte lacquer. So now they sort of really pop, the metallic really stands out. So that looks really cool. And, and we've also done the brake calipers. So they had started to fade a little bit. So uh, we've uh, fully prepped them, redone them in a nice red heat resistant paint, some black decals for the Jaguar. Um, on there as well just to add a nice little finish and touch so this is all done um, we've also then given it a wash and a hand polish just to finish it off a few little touch-ins hardly any to be honest with you um, and some new number plates just to just to finish the whole whole look of the car off okay so there we have it so good to have the car back and I'm absolutely blown away by what Alex and his team have managed to do. Um, they have far exceeded uh, my expectations, it looks absolutely super. So we've got the brake calipers done um, and the Jaguar stickers are on. Um, they are looking absolutely superb just as I'm attacking this uh, back road here, a little bit slippy. Also we've got the wheels done, um, so very similar colour if not an exact colour match with the gloss lacquer, they were in a satin lacquer but the gloss has brought them out really nicely. Don't forget, even if you spend as much time taking pictures of your car as I do, to the point where your friends walk away and pretend they're not with you, you spend most of your time inside the car, in the driver's seat. Um, so don't forget that the interior is also another really important part of styling your car and kind of putting your own personal stamp on it. Now, when it comes to the um, kind of interior trim um, pieces and panels, you've got a few options. The most exciting of which I think is the hydro dipping. Now, if you're not familiar with the process of hydro dipping, have a look on YouTube and have a look at the finishes that are available that I showed you on the wall um, at Alex's shop. Um, so essentially, with hydro dipping, you are kind of unlimited with the different colours and finishes and patterns that you can have on uh, interior trim pieces. And they can actually go on the outside of the car as well. So you basically have a film that's suspended on top of a tank of water and you push the piece of trim that you want uh, refurbishing through it. It's impregnated with a PVA glue and that sticks to the piece of trim. Now that alone gives a really nice finish but it's not particularly tough so what they will do um, is put a clear coat on top of it. So it's lacquered um, with a UV resistant clear coat and it makes it really tough and uh, Alex's customers have um, had those pieces on the outside of their car. Things like carbon fibre effect um, with a gloss lacquer looks really nice um, and it's actually proved to be really tough um, and resistant to stone chips. Uh, again, not much traction today um, as we're going into winter. I also asked Alex to put on new number plates, um, not because they were scratched or chipped as I'd uh, mentioned before, but they'd got all the branding on from the garage that I bought the car and I've got no problem with that. I understand why they do it because uh, their clientele will park up at wherever they work, largely um, football training grounds and all their mates will go, oh, where did you get that from? Oh, I might. And then they'll go and have a look and I totally understand that. Um, but along with like a sticker in the um, rear view uh, rear windshield, um, there was too much kind of branding from that garage. So I wanted to make it my own, put my own stamp on it, and I got Alex to um, take the sticker off the back. If they're on the um, heated element, obviously make sure you apply a little bit of heat, because the heated element is only a conductive paint, and if you rip those stickers off, um, they will take the paint off and they will stop the whole rear heated um, windshield.
windshield uh, element from working. So I got him to take that off and I also got him to put on new number plates. Um, by law, I think you have to have a very small logo of where the plates were printed, but it took off that much bigger um, branding um, from the garage that I bought it off. And it just makes it feel more like my car now. Um, so that's something to look at. But as I'm sure you'll know, I'm probably not teaching you anything new here. You've got a whole host of options uh, with number plates to put your stamp on it, like carbon fiber effects, the 3D, uh, gel 4d um, and, and all that sort of thing so again have a look online see what options are available to kind of suit you um, and, and the style that you're wanting to go for in your car I did also ask Alex to have a look I did also ask Alex to have a look at a piece in the centre console and asked him to repaint it. He actually came back to me and said they took it out and they machine polished it back. Um, so basically taking out the swirl marks and scratches from the clear coat um, and it came up really nicely. Also, as you can see from the B-roll there, I did have some imperfections in the paint on the roof. Um, and along with some blemishes in the lacquer and some swirl marks, I decided to kill, well, three or four birds with one stone and actually got the whole of the um, roof uh, repainted and re-lacquered and then blended in um, to the B-pillars and that looks absolutely superb.